recording. I always knew racism and sexism was like an issue in America, but I didn't know it was like a huge issue. I didn't think it was so problematic in today's society until recently. So in my literature class, I have read these protest literature books. And basically what protest literature is, refers to works that address real political, social issues and express objection um, against them. So we read these books in class and it had a huge impact on me and how I viewed the world. We started reading the books Asada Shakur, an autobiography. It was about Asada Shakur and her experiences growing up through segregation and what she experienced being an African-American woman at that time. She speaks about how she felt mistreated, oppressed, and overall, it was just how she like, started to politically awake to be this upstander that she is today, the figure that she is today. She is currently in Cuba for, uh, for being charged against a crime that she claims she did not commit. But who knows? I don't know. <laughs> and the other book we also read was um, The Vagina Monologues by Eve Ensler. Eve Ensler was a feminist playwright who wrote this book by interviewing over 200 women about their experiences for being a woman and how they felt oppression for, being, for their gender. Uh, she wrote this book mainly to show, to acknowledge that the oppression that women face, to show that their oppression is recognized and their voices can be heard through this book. She also wrote it not just for that, but also to, it was a way to empower women, to give them a sense that they're not alone. Uh, the book that impacted me the most as, a, as being a male um, was um, The Vagina Monologues. So basically, it gave me an insight of how women feel and how they felt oppressed for being the gender that they are. And I, before that, I didn't really think like it was so problematic. I didn't really think like like I don't know it was such a big deal because it was never I was never really uh, introduced or adjust to it so after reading these books um, it made me realize that women should are being mistreated for living in a, patri in a patriarchal society that has men as a dominant sex I did experience racism growing up when I got bullied for my for being Mexican. Uh, I wasn't. I can't say I really experienced sexism, but I know I was taught in this hyper masculinity way. To kind of be this guy, this man man um, that is strong, shows no emotion, doesn't cry. That's how I grew up basically and I grew up believing that. And so with that I felt like I boxed in too many of my emotions and I didn't really know how to express myself, how to really be who I wanted to be. I felt like I had to go by certain like norms that society has created for men and I feel like Misogyny has also played a big role on how um, women, what roles women play in society. Like being as weaker than men, viewed as weaker than men. I, before reading these books, I didn't really think that way. I didn't really, I wasn't really open to the oppression that they faced and all this. It was more it was more so after I read the books that I started noticing that oh racism is still around and it has not left 
it is still here. Like it is society decides to be ignorant and and tries to ignore that racism and sexism, sexism is still here and around and it has not gone. We choose to ignore it as something that we don't see as it's being serious. So after reading these books, I did see how racism has affected people and it is more than one race. This is not just African Americans, but all other races, like anything that falls, that is not white that is considered a minority experiences racism. But I'm not saying white people can't also experience racism because anybody can. Yeah, I'm trying, because I, I forgot how to move, because I was talking about this, and then I had to talk about this, and I, I forgot like what I was going to say between that. One of the essential questions we had in my literature class was how does protest literature enhance the social consciousness of a reader? Um, moving him or her to think about injustices or even act against them and that is the essential question I chose for my essay to kind of show like it kind of related it, it related the most to my essay because it, it, it impacted me so I chose the thesis I have now where it says um, the, bo the books that I read deal with discrimination based on someone's sex or gen um, based on someone's race or gender. Uh, the authors reveal oppression they face to enhance the reader's social consciousness about the world around them to think or even act against them. What inspired my thesis was that it happened to me and I feel like it, like there's not there's not a whole lot that has stopped racism and sexism because it's still a problem to this day and we're just kind of choosing to ignore it like uh, the police brutality that's been going on um, of like pe of men, people of color and how they're like being killed unreasonably and it's just like it's still happening to this day. There's, of course, there's been protests about it, and I have joined the um, the Black Lives Matter protest um, when it happened down by 42nd Street, and I marched because um, I believe what was happening was just was just like there was no justice being um, given to us. Like these policemen were allowed to still walk out, just like they would probably get suspended for a couple of weeks, but they would still be able to come back and do it all over again, like if nothing happened, and it's, it's not right. Um, it has, I have also seen how um, patri patriarchy has played a big role in our society. It still has been, it's, still, it's still a norm to this day that men have to be on top of women, like they have to be better than women. And this is like, we have to accept that some people are good in some things, other people are better in another thing. But we're not, no one is better than one another. Like, that's not possible. It can't be. We're just all humans, and that's how we have to view it as. <coughs> um, so, um, so, yeah, and I think that it's been really great that now it is legal to be it's for gay marriage in all of America and I think that is great because it's like it gives them a, like a sense of like okay they're slowly being um, accepted in our society but um, there's still ignorant people that refuse to say that they're even humans like I have seen people talk about them so disrespectfully like it shouldn't like they should never be saying those words to a person like they are who they are and they're allowed to express themselves nobody has the right to hold somebody back from expressing themselves and just being themselves um 
When I was thinking of brainstorming my thesis, I had a long period where I didn't know what to write, I didn't know what thesis I was going to choose, I didn't know the right one to go with. Like, I had quotes, I wrote the quotes, but I didn't know, like, a strong thesis to prove them. I knew I wanted to write something about oppression because I've seen it and I've experienced it. But I didn't know what, how to write it down and make it strong. Um, when I was drafting, I made countless mistakes. Like I reread it, but I didn't like read it thoroughly. So like I made countless like mistakes, and I had like three teachers to go edit it, and like I still seen like mistakes. They still made me rewrite and rewrite some paragraphs. They made me take some ideas that I wanted to stay on it down. But overall, I think what I had was a pretty strong essay, and I think it proves my thesis. Um, how I grew as a reader and a thinker um, through revision and rereading my essay, I think I learned to go more in depth with my thesis, paragraphs, and the quotes, like analyzing quotes from the book, I think I've analyzed them pretty well and went in depth into what they what they meant. Um, how I grew as a thinker is, um, uh, so how I grew as a thinker was, um, I basically thought about, like, I really, I, I tried to really think about what I was trying to say and not say it in a manner that it would offend anyone that was reading it. And I, I think I did a pretty well job at it. Um, yeah.